What's going on everybody? Welcome to our new shop. We're in Lombard, Illinois, right outside of Chicago. And I'm so excited to show you this. I've been detailing for 15 years. I started detailing out of a van, a Chevy Astro van. I love that van so much, but this is, this is a dream of mine to have a huge shop, my dream detail shop. It's here, it's happening. Welcome to your home in Chicago. So much room for activities. What's going on everybody? Welcome to our new facility. This is a huge, massive shop. It is 13,000 square feet. We are currently in a shop that is 4,000 square feet. So a massive, massive undertaking building this out. I'm excited to do this series. We're gonna do a building my dream shop series because we have so many cool things that I want to show you that we're doing with this building. We just got in here a few days actually ago and they're already starting construction. They're building out the clean room that we have. Come on, let's show you what we got going on. Over here we have the clean room that they're building. This is going to be for paint protection film, window tint, and vinyl. We want a really clean room that is separated from all the detailing and the dust and the dirtiness that goes on with that. So this is a separate clean room that they're going to build out. We're going to have air filtration. This is going to be climate controlled uh, so we can produce the best product that we can. On the other side over here, we're building a separate room just for uh, the plotter, the tables, the computer, all the film, all the storage will be over in this corner over here. We'll walk you through the construction zone and go into the office that we have. So they're going to build a kitchen right here and then we're going to have storage on the other side into the office. Nice big waiting area. We got a couple bathrooms here. We're going to output this. You can see we've already started moving in stuff. This is all car guy supply stuff. We're going to find some spot back there where we can warehouse all of our car guy supplies. We have a separate little back portal office here. Uh, we'll have a few desks back here so we can work privately. This might even end up being a customer workstation back here where we'll have individual desks where they can have some quiet time if they need to do any type of business or any type of work separated from everything. So these are the blueprints of everything that we got going on. I'll show you guys uh, exactly where we are. So right behind us is this big clean coating room. The front of the building's over here. That's where we walked in into our reception area office here. We have a separate office back here. We're gonna walk in, we're building a kitchen. Uh, we wanted a nice space for the guys to be able to take a break and, and enjoy some downtime when they're eating their lunch. And we have a storage room over here. We're gonna put our air compressor in there. We're gonna put our pressure washers in there. We're gonna put our chemical dispensing system in there just so we don't have that ambient noise. One of the things that I hate about our shop right now is you got this air compressor and you got the pressure washer going all the time and it's loud and I want this to be quiet. I wanna be able to work in an environment where you don't have this droning hum of the air compressor all the time in your ears. So that's gonna be really nice. We wanted to make sure we have that. This is our wash bay. All this concrete's gonna be taken out and everything we sloped, uh, the, the drain is gonna be vertical here. It doesn't have a triple basin system in it right now, so we actually have to come in here and break up all this concrete, put a triple basin in, and while we're doing that, we're gonna slope this concrete into the middle here so everything flows, all the water will flow down into that drain. We have two doors. You see we have an indoor and an outdoor. Bays for detailing on the side here so you can actually come into the building here. It's very important that we have a smooth workflow. We don't want to be backing in and pulling out cars or moving cars to get out of the way. That's just wasted time and wasted energy. So we wanted to make it nice and smooth. So we have an indoor that you can drive all the way, kind of a horseshoe shape around here and you have an outdoor. So at any time you can pull into any department, whether it's the wash department, you can pull right in into the clean room. You can pull right into there and then our detail bay is on this side. So hopefully we don't have to do a whole lot of shuffling of cars because that's just a lot of wasted time. Uh, we want to make it nice, easy and convenient. Uh, we wanted to set this up. I mean, we could fit a whole lot of cars here and here if we wanted to. Um, right now, it looks like we have enough for about 13 bays. I mean, we could fit 20, 25 bays in here if we wanted to but it just wouldn't be convenient with moving everything in and out. And then we got some other space over here, maybe for car storage um, 
or, or cars that are in queue or waiting or that are already done that we can cover up. So we're gonna make a series out of this. I'm gonna show you everything as we're doing it, as they're building, as we're doing the clean room. I'll show you all the equipment that we're gonna bring in here. I'll show you the lights. I'm excited to show you and go in depth of what we chose and why we chose it and why we're putting it in here. If you'd like to subscribe, if you like this video, please, if you wanna see more, if you wanna be updated continually on what we're doing here, make sure you press the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.